I realized after looking at the quiz for week six that in my discussion of group functions and the group by clause having clause, there was a couple points I didn't make that show up in the quiz. And the first one is the max and the min function. I mentioned that it's one of the few functions that can be used on multiple data types, and I specifically numeric data types and date data types. What I didn't mention is it can also be used on character data types. So if I grab the max and the min title from books, it's basically going to be looking at the alphabet where the minimum value is the letter A. I'm pointing at the max here. The minimum value would be the letter A, or in this case, the book Big Bear, the letter B. And the maximum value would be something with the letter Z, right? And so in this case, the walk is the, the max value out of a, numer or a, a um, character data type. So the max function can be used on characters, it can be used on dates, and it can be used on numbers, obviously. So both max and min. The other one I didn't mention is we've talked about the count function. And if I'm looking at the customers, and I want to count how many states are in the customers table. Well, if I were to just count state, it's going to return every record. So basically, it's no different than count star as long as there's no null values in the state column, which there's not. So when I say count state, there's 20. Well, guess what? There happens to be 20 customers, right? But I'm trying to figure out how many different states are there. So then what I want to do is count, and I want to do distinct, but inside the count function. All right, so it's going to be distinct states. How many are there? So now when I run that count, I get 12. So sometimes students will try to put distinct on the outside, right? And that's going to re that's trying to eliminate duplicate rows of which, right? A count function like this with no group by is only got one row, and so distinct is doing nothing out here. It's going to be the same 20, right? Whether I put the word distinct or not, it's the same number, 20. If I put the distinct inside the count function, then it's going to count the distinct states. So um, make sure you understand that distinct has to be in here. Another example would be how many different categories do we have in our books database, right? So if I say select category from books, and I'll just type it real fast and not worry about case uh, capitalizing anything. So there they all are, but they're repeating, right? Here's family life, there's family life, cooking, cooking. So obviously, if I put the word distinct on this, I will now get one instance of each one because I'm eliminating duplicate records. So now there they are, but I want to count that, right? And so if I put distinct on the outside and count the category, that's trying to eliminate a duplicate row. So basically... I'm going to get the fact that I have 14 books. Categories are being counted multiple times. But if I put that inside of here, and then that will tell me how many distinct categories do I have in this database. So now there's eight distinct categories. So the distinct needs to go inside the count function if I want to count, in this case, how many distinct categories do I have in the books database. So uh, both of those issues between the max and the distinct will show up in the quiz and hopefully I've cleared that up.